this fight against corruption had some form of direction because we've seen senior people being invited here, paraded and headlines coming out. Then you come here to start asking questions. You even wonder, is this a fight against corruption? You know? So I know the investigators have their own way of doing it, but I think uh, this country deserves better. And speaking not only as a member of the PF Central Committee and Deputy Chairperson of the you know, Committee on Legal, and also speaking as a citizen of Zambia, I think the President and his team must rethink this so-called fight against corruption because they will end up being embarrassed. They will be embarrassed at the end of the day. People will not know whether it was the President who didn't know where he was heading or it was the investigators who didn't know where they were going. In some instances, like in Western Province, where they were arrested honorable in the period and detained unnecessarily for a very long period of time, they don't know what they're looking for. Honorable Davis Chama has been appearing in court since September last year. To date, they failed to call a single witness. When these high profile people are being arrested, we all think, look, they've got evidence, they're going to prosecute these matters. It's embarrassing that the government machinery is now being used to just harass individuals because they were in PF. Some people arrested for alleged corruption, you are presented to court on a hate speech charge. They're being asked, you know, you said this in the campaign. So it's a wake-up call to Bali and his team. But look, the fight against corruption must be vicious. The fight against corruption must be scary. People, thieves and criminals who store must be scared. That the investigations have started, not what we are seeing now. Because what we are seeing now is just a game. Where, anyway, uh, we don't have anything to do. Can you call two people to come and chat with us? And then after chatting... At the end of the day, the resources of this country are being depleted. The purpose for which this investigation team or whatever was constituted will soon be lost. Will soon be lost. Because the, even the courts will get irritated. You are arresting people. You don't want to prosecute. You are bringing people to court. You are not giving us evidence. You can't arrest someone in September last year up to now. Every time we go to court, adjournment, adjournment, adjournment. And now we are fed up. And we just want to speak out. Me, I don't like commenting on investigations, but today I've been forced to comment because I think we must give you, the media and the nation, the inside view of these investigations. Because what they don't tell you when we go in these investigations is that sometimes they look lost and they look blank. But the nation is being given a picture that there's a fight against corruption that the joint investigative team is gaining ground. Now they're even following houses which they know. This is Tukwa's house. They'll come and say, because Tukwa was not there at that house, it means he has abandoned it. How? You can't be looking for a person whom you know where he is. So it's a wake-up call to the joint investigative team, to the Home Affairs Minister, and to the chief executive, the president of Zambia, that our feeling as people being summoned and harassed as a political party, is that this fight will not end well. It may end in embarrassment, or it may just be one of those things. That people will even lose confidence in the investigative way if they don't strategize and redirect their efforts. If you look at the call-outs that have been issued, that they issue, they say their aim is to recover stolen property and give it back to the people of Zambia. But when you go in the investigative wings in their meetings and teams and questioning, you start answering questions which have nothing to do with stolen property, nothing to do with recovery, and nothing to do with investigation. So I think there is need for the nation to be told that this country is slowly losing direction. And one day I'll be vindicated with what I'm saying. One day I'll be vindicated. We seem lost. You can imagine with all the publicity and everything, and all of you here coming here, only to be told that, look, this is... We don't want to say what happened inside, but we just want to tell you that our feeling is that this thing is not going anywhere. Unless we know. If you want to catch a thief, start looking at what was stolen, 
start looking at where it was hidden, for example, and start looking at whether it is indeed was stolen. But if you are going to look for something stolen, and you are actually harassing a person because it belongs to the peer, we doubt if anything will come up. Thank you so much. I haven't gotten my own recording, but if you're getting me scotching, I'll definitely follow you to the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs>